Hey look, a batch of T4 Torx screws on the front. You had us worried for a second there, GoPro. The glass lens cover is probably the most likely part to break on the session, but it's also the easiest to replace. It's good to see that GoPro had repairability in mind for the lens cover, as they sell a complete lens cover replacement kit. Okay, so the screws were a bit of a red herring. They'll come in handy for replacing a cracked lens cover or o-ring, but they didn't get us inside. Prying at the front and back covers didn't get us anywhere either. So, we gave our new camera a hot eye-opener hug to soften up the adhesive on its rubber cover and then started cutting and peeling. At the top of the camera, the shutter button is integrated into the rubber cover, with a hole in the plastic case underneath exposing the microswitch. With the rubber cover peeled off, we get a look at what lies beneath a clear plastic cube, tantalizing us with exciting innards like one of those sweet see-through phones. We're so close. There are boards right there. But seeing inside doesn't mean we can get inside. Unfortunately we didn't find any external screws or clips looks like this puppy is all sealed up. Time to attack the board cube with some flush cutters. There has to be a better way to get inside that we're just not seeing, right? Let's peel up this end cap. The interior components are a Tetris detangle of parts with no obvious way to extract the battery. After savaging most of the exterior, we aren't surprised to find the GoPro's battery soldered to the motherboard and glued into a bracket. With a flick of the wrist goes the display and the power slash capture button everything a user needs to operate the GoPro on one confusing bracket.